Bumpy tracks. Oh lord, I thought that little diesel was supposed to mend this. Hurry up, hurry up. Get a move on, you stupid trucks. I want to get home before Scar Lowy snags my favorite place in the shed. Careful, Duncan. It'd be nice if you stay on the rails for once. It would be a pleasant surprise for me, anyhow. It would be a pleasant surprise for me if you retired. <laughs> Retire? Me? I'm much too handsome for that. Just look at this new coat of paint. Ha ha ha. I think it was a new coat of paint three months ago, Reneas. Now it's just paint. <laughs> Very true indeed. I only hope Duncan stays out of trouble. I never really understood that one. Oh, don't worry about him. He has a good side. When he acts out, it's mostly about theatrics. He feels he needs to have the strongest presence wherever he goes. Ah, oh, pummel my pistons, what a rotten week. If anything else goes wrong, I swear. Whoa, hit the deck! Oh, yo, what, what the? Oh, you gotta be, whoa, 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 watch out, watch out! No, gangway! That, for a fantasy and trick of fame, go to your graves like beds. Fight for a plot, whereon the numbers cannot try the cause, which is not to mean off, and continent to hide the slain. Oh, from this time forth, my thoughts be bloody, or be nothing. Ah! Hey, Dad, you insolent hunk of metal, you ruined my soliloquy, and the fence. No. Oh. Ah, hey, listen, pal, nice pants, whatever. You, you mind getting me some help? You've single-handedly ruined my production, and now you insist on me dismissing my creative talents to come to your aid? <laughs> Don't count on it. Not until the act is finished, anyway. Gotta love those pretentious acting types. Goodness gracious, he caused how many pounds of damage? Your ruthless ingrate of an engine destroyed my stage. And my production is being postponed until it is repaired. You can bet I'll have the authorities help negotiate an appropriate transaction for compensation. This is an utter outrage! A disgrace to the art world! Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. My sincere apologies. And we just sorted out all the legal implications from that blasted pigeon hunting incident. Brace yourself. Your mechanized minions of distraction will see the error in their ways, now that my production of Hamlet will never make a spring debut. What did someone say, Hamlet? That's always been a personal favorite of mine. I've always been rather fond of the works of Shakespeare. Bertram, although you are one of my most eloquent of engines, I find it hard to believe you have any clear understanding of the works of Shakespeare. To be or not to be, that is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against a sea of troubles, and by opposing end them. To die, to sleep, no more. And by a sleep to say we end the heartache and the thousand natural shocks that flesh is heir to. It is a consummation devoutly to be wished. To die, to sleep. To sleep stand to dream. That was spot on. Brilliant. Refined. Remarkable. You, my friend, have a very theatrical engine at your disposal. Uh, what? My newfound business associate. I may have found an alternative means of compensation. And what would that be? Your engine has an extraordinary wit, which pleases me enormously. As opposed to reimbursing me for the innumerable damages and taking this matter into the hands of the legal system, I have decided to give you a second option. I would like your railway to be the cast of this production. Oh, that's utter nonsense. They all have work to do, and none of them are by any means theatrical. Fine. Don't put on the show. But if you insist on providing the appropriate sum of compensation... Oh dear lord, no. So with that said, and with me having no other option, the Scarlowy Railway must put on a production of Hamlet to pay off the damages 
Duncan so graciously inflicted upon the Soda Shakespeare Company. Uh, you oh. cannot be serious! Ridiculous! Huzzah, my enthusiasm cannot be constrained. It's the opportunity of a lifetime. This is all Duncan's fault. I refuse to cooperate under these circumstances. You never cooperate under any circumstances. If anyone needs me, I'll be laying low in a tunnel for a while. Hmm, the fastest engine in the hills takes to the stage. People might pay money to see that. Did you catch all that? Everyone's grumbling on this side. What? No, sorry, I wasn't really listening. This is by far the most ludicrous thing I've ever heard. I'm sure we've heard of more absurd things in our lifetime. What about an engine that uses a headmaster's organ as a whistle? That's <laughs> not, oh, sure. oh, oh, it's not oh, funny. <laughs> Would it be a problem if I have little to no acting experience? That is what makes me, Bertram, the old warrior, your saviour in this precarious plight. Oh, shut up, Bertram. You and your part duke with Smudger's face. Sir Handel, we should color. really listen to Bertram. He's our best means of getting out of this mess. Peter Sam is quite right. Which is why, with little or no theatre experience at any of our disposals, I've decided to let Bertram be the director of our production. Oh. I humbly and wholeheartedly accept the task of directing you all emotionally, physically, environmentally, geometrically and artistically in this theatrical endeavour. Auditions start tomorrow. Wait, what? Auditions? Sir, in all my years, I've never dealt with anything quite like this. It's really out of the ordinary. Scarlowy, I've always felt like my engines could conquer any adversity set before them, so anything shy of extraordinary would be something far too meagre to attain. After all of our years together, between all the arguments and myriad derailments, we've acted as a family, and I want that to continue the way it always has. This is a challenge we'll face together, and to prove that I really believe that, I will be acting alongside you. Well, he's serious. Honoured as always, sir. We're right here with you. Glad to hear it, old friend.